Once you've selected the sources you think may be useful for your research assignment, remember to keep them together and take notes on why you think they'll be useful, where you found them, how you found them, and also what they are. Sometimes it can be difficult to figure out the citation information in the source you're using. This video will give you a few tips on determining that information, whether it's in an entry in an online database or you're looking at it in a PDF, as well as where different parts of that source fit into a particular citation style. When you're in a database like Academic Search Complete, there are a couple different places to find information about a source. In the first example, you can find the publication information, title of the journal, volume, issue, and date published in the article record near the top of the screen where it says Source. On the screen, it will also list the authors of the article directly above this information, and finally, the title of the article itself at the very top. Remember that when you see information such as volume and or issue number, the source you're looking at is probably an article published in a journal. Also, depending on your topic, it is important to pay attention to the date published. If you're researching a topic which requires information that is more current, chances are an article or book published 40 years ago will not be as helpful as something published more recently within the last few years. Often, you can also find the citation information of a journal article in the results list. In the second example, this information is displayed in a similar manner to the first. The publication information is all listed next to each other, then the authors of the article are listed above, with the title of the article once again appearing at the top of the entry. What about, though, when you already have downloaded the resource and don't have access to a results list? Will you still be able to find the citation information, as well as determine what type of material it is? The primary place you should look for clues is the first page of the PDF. In this example, you'll find the title of the article in bold, front and center. The authors of the article appear directly below the title, with the publication information, volume, title of journal, and date, appearing at the very top in the header. Again, volume is a giveaway that the type of resource we're looking at is a journal article, although you can also determine this because there is an abstract or summary of the article on this page. One final place to look for citation information will be in the header or footer of an article on subsequent pages. In this example, the publication information is once again located in the footer, giving you both the title of the journal as well as the volume number. Let's contrast the information we've seen in journal articles with a book. Sometimes you'll find a resource useful for a research assignment that your instructor put on e-reserve as a class reading. Unfortunately, figuring out if it's a book or journal article can sometimes be challenging. In this example, you can see that there isn't that giveaway of a volume or issue number that might indicate it's an article published in a journal. A good clue that this is a book, however, is the publication information at the bottom. You can see that there's a name of the publishing company, followed by a couple of locations. These locations often indicate where it was published and are indicative that the resource is a book. If you're looking in an ebook, there's a few different places you can look for publication information. Just like in the eReserve example, the company publication information is listed at the bottom. Additionally, though, there's the place it was published on the next page, Hoboken, New Jersey, as well as the date, 2010. Again, note that nowhere does it display a volume or issue number. Remember that if you're looking at a chapter of a book, the title of the chapter will often appear in the header or footer of one page, with the title of the book appearing on the other page. Finally, when you're looking at the citation of a journal article, how do you tell what's what? Most citation styles have common components. You just need to be aware that their layouts will be slightly different. Nearly all styles, however, will begin with the author or authors of the work being referenced. As you can see in these examples, the authors are at the beginning of each citation. The only difference is in the way that they are laid out. Next up, in APA format and Chicago format, is the year in which the article was published, 2013. As you can see, MLA also cites the year the article was published, but it's in the middle of the citation rather than near the beginning. All three citation styles cite the title of the article next, Amazonian Deforestation, Impact of Global Warming on the Energy Balance and Climate. Next to the title of the article is the title of the journal, Journal of Applied Meteorology and Climatology. Now, here's where many people get confused. How are you supposed to tell what's the title of the journal and what's the title of the article? A good way to determine the difference between the two is by looking for italics. The title of the journal will appear in italics, while the article title will not. Appearing after the journal title is the volume number and the issue number. 
Again, while the citation styles treat these slightly differently, you'll notice that in all three cases, the volume, 52, appears to the left of the issue, 3. Finally, there is the page range. In most cases, you'll always find the page range of an article at the end of a citation, as it is in these examples, from pages 521 to 530. Overall, these are just a few of the ways to determine information in a citation. Don't forget that you can always ask for help from people around campus. The Writing Center has many excellent people who can help you out with citation information, in addition to resources provided by the library, like RefWorks.